What's up, YouTube? We're literally three weeks away from the NFL season, regular season, and I couldn't be more ecstatic three weeks away. Um, my favorite team's kicking off the fucking whole league Thursday night against the Rams. I'm a Bills fan, if you couldn't tell. So, and I'll, I'll, I'll provide proof that I'm an OG Bills fan, not like a bandwagon. I was a fan of them when Kyle Warden was around, and if you don't know who the fuck that is... That's exactly why you're not a Bills fan. So, Bills, Rams. We're getting right into this. Bills minus two and a half. It's really just that simple. They don't have they have they have Aaron Donald and Matthew Stafford. They're the only people that scare me. Other than that, they're literally underdogs for a reason. So, Vegas knows some. Bills will definitely win. Might be might not cover. Maybe. But I'm taking Bills minus two and a half, and we're going to write this one down right now. And I'm also, at the end of this, going to give you my four-team parlay that I already put down four weeks prior to the regular season because it is that fucking gas. All right, it's that gas. And it's going to hit. So we have, next up, Bills already getting the fucking cover. Next up, we have Steelers, Bengals. Great game. Great game. Let's get into that. So we're looking at percentage of money on the spread. I also kind of want to see this real fast. Yeah, a lot of people are riding me with uh, Buffalo. So this is, a, this is a tough one. I don't like how they can win by seven. Their O-line is still garbage. And the Steelers are kind of mid. I'm going to go... Assuming Mitchell Trubisky is the starter for the Steelers, we're going to go Steelers, plus six and a half. All right, next game, Eagles-Lions. This is this is a closer game than Eagles fans are going to expect. I like Hurts. I, actually, maybe not. I mean, like, it might not be close is what I'm saying. I like Hurts. This just has a potential to be... A good game, but it's also like I don't think the Eagles are gonna run away with it. Like I'm in Philly, I live in Philly. My family's from Buffalo. I'm in Philly. They're all kind of thinking that Hertz is the guy. Like he's he's really shown himself this year. He's gonna prove it. But I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know about that. I think he's good. I don't think he's gonna just run through the lines though. I think Eagles cover by three and a half but it's a it's a nail biter of a game it's not like a they run away with it type of game so eagles minus three and a half i i kind of do like the lines here but i'm trying to definitely win these picks texans colts i really don't have to get much into that colts minus eight and a half it's pretty easy all right, um, Saints. I mean, look at this, dude. Yeah, yeah, come on. Saints, Falcons, awful game. Um, I kind of like Jameis Winston. Saints minus five and a half. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy there. So it's it's hard to go with the favorite every time. Some of these aren't gonna cover. Like this could not cover, maybe, but like. I'm not betting on it. I'm just kind of getting my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Ravens, Jets. This is part of my parlay. Ravens minus six and a half. I think I have the money line in the parlay. We'll, we'll look at it. Pretty sure it's our all money line. Then we have the New Orleans Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. Dolphins. Dolphins minus two and a half. That's kind of an easy one. Bill Belichick's losing it. He's, he's just. It'll be a close game. They might not cover. I would go with money line, obviously, but I'm doing spreads. So, Dolphins minus two and a half. All right, this is insane right here. This, this is insane. Because we already know Watson is back for this game. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm. Sorry, you'll have to excuse me. I'm pretty fucking stupid. 
this is week one. Panthers are going to blow them out of the water. No Deshaun Watson. Are you kidding me? Panthers minus 10 if that was an option. Minus one and a half. Already, so they're, they're also in the parlay. I'll show you that. I mean, th- th- this is like Baker Mayfield revenge game. I, I don't I don't really see how the Browns are going to hang around with, with who fucking, fucking Dobbs. Like, who's their backup? Uh... That one fucking like long sleeve shit, bro. Like he's literally trash. He's not gonna keep up with the Panthers. He's not. They're gonna score more. Baker Mayfield has dirt on the Browns. This is an easy game to bet on. I don't know why the lines are so low. So next up we have Niners Bears. This is a good game. That spread is atrocious though. I the Bears have no offensive line whatsoever. So maybe that is I, I can't keep going with the favorites, but I mean minus six and a half is just not realistic. So we're gonna go with the Bears. Bears plus six and a half just because that's a big spread. New quarterback needs to gel. Maybe they'll have a good O line day and just stay within seven. Next up, Jags Commanders. Commanders are favorited. That's actually crazy. I sort of like their team. Don't really like their team. Honestly, Carson Wentz literally lost that last regular season game to get him into the playoffs. He lost that game. And he has some dirt on the on the Jags. So, because remember he was on the Colts and they just got blown the fuck out and lost their playoff spot. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to go with the Commanders here. It's a rare Commanders dub. Rare Commanders dub. Commanders minus three and a half. It's going to be a close game. I graduated with Jahan Dotson. If you if you follow my YouTube channel, graduated with him from Penn State. So I kind of have to ride with that. Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Chargers. Good game. Good game. I like. Uh... Wow, this is a really good game with Devonte uh, Ad- Adams now. What are we gonna do here? I'm gonna go with Chargers minus. Th- no, this is gonna be one of these really good games. We're gonna go with the Raiders. Raiders plus three and a half. They might literally lose by three. That's 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 why. Because they might lose by three. Or within three, is what I'm saying. I like the spread on that. But I'm it's gonna be bite nail biter. I think Chargers win though. Giants, Titans, as if Tyrod Taylor was starting, this would be a lot better to bet on because Daniel Jones is just trash. I mean, they're not keeping up. I, I don't I don't like the Titans at all this year. Or the Giants, but I, I think Titans in this one. Minus five and a half. It's pretty easy. And soon, how many more games? All right, so we have three games left. Chiefs Cardinals, really good game. Yeah, let's see. That's an easy bet. Chiefs Cardinals. I mean, I really like this game. I like this game. I'm gonna go with KC minus three and a half. I'm a Bills fan, so that hurts to say, but it's it's just it's these early dubs, it's people messing up. Like there's gonna be people that are just aren't ready for the season, which could be the Chiefs, but they have like vengeance on the season. They kind of lost in a bad way, just like the Bills did. So they're coming out slinging. KC minus three and a half. Packers Vikings. I'm gonna go with the Vikings. Vikings plus two. So we're, we got a few favorites. We got a few favorites. A lot of favorites mostly, but a few um, underdogs to cover. We have that line's definitely gonna move down to like the Vikings getting favored. I mean, Packers have no receivers really. No one like solid other than Sammy Watkins. Sign Sammy Watkins. 
have ripped that off my wall just to show you. And then um, we got the, oh, I didn't even make my pick. I did. Vikings plus two. Yeah, easy. It's really not that hard at all, actually. Yeah, and they're already favored. So, or by the public. So, so we have the Bucks and the Cowboys as our last game. It's going to be hard to get it. Bet against Brady. I like the Cowboys offense. And then, ah, this is a good game. 820. Oh, yeah. I can't fucking wait. Every game, bro. Like, are you kidding me? These are heaters. It's kicking off the season with the Bills Rams, too. Like, come on. It doesn't get much better than that. We're going to ride with uh, Brady here. He, he always just gets the dubs, bro. I mean, Bucks. It's gonna be tough for him this season. I don't think they're gonna do too great this season. But we're gonna they're gonna get the week one dub minus one and a half over the Cowboys. In review, Bills minus two and a half, Steelers plus six and a half, Eagles minus three and a half. Suspect on that one. Don't place it. Colts minus eight and a half. Also suspect on that one. Saints minus five and a half. Suspect on that one. Just saying that because I'm not like I'm not throwing it away because I just don't know about that. Ravens minus six and a half, I like that. Dolphins minus two and a half, easy. Panthers minus one and a half, probably the lock of the century. Bears plus six and a half, possible. Commanders minus three and a half, possible. They could only win by three two, so possible. And then we have the fucking Raiders plus three and a half over the Chargers. That's gonna be a good game. Um, Raiders three and a half plus not not favored. Underdogs they might lose by three. That's that's why I got them up to three and a half. And then we have Titans minus five and a half, Kansas City minus three and a half, Vikings plus two, and the Bucks minus one and a half. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the fucking Rick parlay. Are you kidding me with this? All money line, all money line. By the way, all money line. Thirty five dollars. On 14 parlay. The odds of this parlay altogether plus 581 placed on FanDuel plus 581. Let's let's start it off, right? Buffalo fucking Bills money line minus 134. First leg of the lay. Thursday night. Easy. Baltimore freaking Ravens. Minus 245 over the Zach Wilson list Jets, which apparently they're saying he might be back for. If he's if, if he's back, he, if he's on the field or not on the field, Ravens by money line. Doesn't really get much thought behind that. Then we get the Panthers over the Browns money line minus one twelve. Ravens was minus two forty five by the way. Look, Panthers are gonna fucking blow the Browns out of the water. I mean. Let's be real here, guys. Let's be real here. That's that's going to be a fire game, and it's not going to be close because Baker has that dog in him. He's not the greatest, but he has that dog in him, and he's going to at least win this game and probably go one in, one in like 15, 16. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's possible. But, like, if any game he's going to blow someone out of the water, it's this game. So that's three legs so far, and then we're in the last leg that I didn't tell anybody about. Broncos, Seahawks, Seacocks. I didn't even cover this game yet. All right. I didn't cover this game yet. All right. So this is insane. The public has 97% of the money line on Denver. Wow. So I have them at the at the money line at uh, 215 as the fourth leg of the parlay. So it's Bills, Ravens, Panthers, Broncos, all money line, $35 to win. Two hundred and thirty-eight dollars. It's gonna be close, but those are the four games that, without betting a spread, I would ride money line because they just seem easy, like layups. But they're gonna be good games. You know, they're they're gonna be close. Like the Bills Rams gonna be close. Ravens Jets might be close. Broncos Seahawks. I don't know how close that's gonna be. Panthers Browns. Don't know how close that's gonna be. So it's really more of like a two-game lock. Two-game. We'll see. But for the most part, they feel like locks to me. And if we're gonna go spread here, it's it's Broncos minus five and a half. I'm I gotta ride with the public here. As much as you need to fade the public at all costs, 
we will find out really what each team looks like after week one. Once week one happens and comes and goes, we can actually start determining where everybody's at in the rankings, where, where everybody is at for the favorites, because this is still off of last year with the coaches they had and the lots of shit changed, lots of players changed, lots of quarterbacks changed. Vegas is trying to keep up with the lines, but for right now, they're kind of just throwing things out there and seeing if they stick like this you know it's, it seems easy but you never fucking know because like they can they can keep it within seven i mean it's an nfl team like matt ryan's pretty good but he's matt ryan and the colts are pretty good but they're always kind of mid so like shit like this everybody's you know this is a good fade game but i took the colts just because you know what i'm saying that's just something to keep your eye on when you're betting, all right? These, these are the games where you got to fade the public. Only thing I'm not fading is Russell frickin' Wilson. You can't really fade that. The Seahawks suck. They have DK Metcalf. It's loaded yet. So, I'm going to wrap this video up. Appreciate it if you follow my parlay. And uh, I'll be here for week two in my picks on week two. Okay? Okay. I'll see y'all later. Go Bills.